Oh, would you look at this? This is all a big mess. Look at this. No, I hit the camera. That did not work as well as I'd hoped. Anyway, let's actually have a proper clean up. Blah, blah, blah. That is apparently. Mmm, <coughs> sticky. Oh, yeah, um. We had a little update. The stick on this thing, because I got wet, because it's gotten wet, and I didn't use it, I didn't clean it properly, it um didn't last. So that's why these dropped off the shelves. I discovered soon enough. Anyway, made a little light. For the white balance. Let's go ball. Yep. Ugh. I'm going to have to put a light warning on it, aren't I now? Oh well, screw you for being epileptic. No, I'll, I'll put the warning on. I am not that much of an evil bastard. Anyway. <sighs> oh god, I'll lift the table up. What's going on? Oh god, the camera's moved. Oh, the camera's, the camera's on the one. The camera's on the one. Okay. So, where were we? Uh, Get off that. There we go. And here we are. I swear to God, I'm looking for the viewfinder right now. It's like this hand is more lighter than this hand by about a fraction. Anyway, hello, mercenaries. Welcome back to another Mad Mason video. And, um, yes, in the kind of video, I just bought something the other day. And uh, I wanted to show you guys it. It's going to be a completely unedited video. It's probably going to be the first video of this camcorder I'm going to upload. And then upload my birthday one. Edit it all together. Uh, oh well. Here we go. Dan Wesson. Dan Wesson Firearms. Copyright. That's fair enough. It's quite nice. Yeah. This carry case, it did come with a box, but I chucked the box away because of reasons I have a lovely bag. I forgot to think, will I show this on YouTube? And I was then, yes. That was after I realised I threw the bloody th box in the bin. Otherwise I would have showed you all, then shown you the bag it would come with. Totally different video, as you can see. Anyway. Let's get this thing open. I have played with this. It is not a real gun, calm down, it is an airsoft, or air gun, see, got these little contained CO2 gas pellet things, anyway, hang on, I'll move this a bit closer here, and then, hang on, I'll back you out for a second, because that's where the real gun is, there we go, now I'll have a look at the contents of what's in this, if you've never seen a revolver before, it is quite simple. In this one, you have a CO2 cartridge, which you shove in the handle, which I shall show you in a minute. And then you have a speed roller, which is basically kind of an attachment where you shovel the bullets in, which are little like these, which have got like little pellets in. All these are loaded. Whoops. Ah, that's why I put them in there, and not in the gun for safekeeping, because the gun has got gas in it, just so you know. These are the little bullets. See that? That little thing there. Usually goes in something like something an air rifle or something. Yes, I will show you the gun in a second. Here we go. So we've got Hobby Sportline uh, 50 Cal 4.5 Calibre 1.77 and yeah, made in Germany. That's no idea. And there's a scan that. You'll be able to get these. So yeah, scan that. If you're looking for like these or these type, just scan that. On your screen right now, scan that on your screen right now, and uh, yeah, you'll find it if you've got a barcode reader. Let's go have a look at the bullets. We've got six of them because obviously it's the six chamber revolver. There is something called an executioner. I've got all six in my hand, haven't I? Move that back a bit. You kind of tilt this down a tiny bit. There we go. A little bit. Oh, we've got, so we've got, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Here we are. So I bet you're wondering, 
Where's the gun? I did take it out of it because I wanted to show you all the insides first. Put all those in there. In fact, I'll, t I'll keep, I keep one. Hang on. Because this gun is just as dangerous as a real gun, but it ain't legally licensed. So here it is. The Dan Wesson Revolver Python. Yes. One of my most favorite uh, guns I've ever owned. Uh, so it's on safety right now. Click it forward, and click it down, and open it. Now you put the bullet in, as if you would, uh, as if you would a, um, as if you would a, a revolver. Just put that in six towns. Pull it out. As you know. So yeah, so that's that. I'm not keeping a bullet in because the bullet is actually live, as I like to call it, and this has actually got gas. I shall show you where the gas goes in the handle. There it is. You twist that thing in there, you put this thing in there, twist it, it hisses a bit and you gotta be like kinda quick so you gotta like oh, twist it with the flappy thing like that. And there you go. So keep the safety on because it actually has got gas in it and I don't really want to be going off because this gas goes like you would not believe. This gas is really like full chain but I'd reckon I could get because it's a revolver you can actually get some stuff but if you get like a blowback air gun no, which are the uh, chamber falls back like a proper gun to reduce kickback um, if you actually get that um, the uh, the gas runs really uh, low so these ch uh, these um, these um, uh, CO2 cartridges don't last as long, but for this revolver, it's okay because literally all the action I can't put the, all the action is literally pull that down. It pulls this, pulls this back, pulls it, pulls the, pulls the hammer down, and uh, spins this. And so literally all the CO2 power goes through the gun into the thing. Hang on, if I pull that to one side, push the table up to the wall. Pull it up a bit, put it over there, and yeah, that is pretty much uh, real life, as you saw me hold it, as you look at this, see, feels very nice in the hand, but then again, it is for adults, and I am an adult, stop saying those things in the comments guys, stop saying them, I will shoot you all, no, but um, yeah, it's a real nice gun, um, if I was to review this, I would give it a, well I got it second hand, so I, I would say, um, a little review, I would say I'd, I'd give it like a 9 out of 10, and that's really good because, like, uh, my favourite weapon ever is a revolver, but if this was, uh, it was, um, uh, good, uh, probably other people are probably airsoft, I don't usually use airsoft guns, but this would be a 9 out of 10 for me, it needs to really push the boundary, like it needs to have proper, I'm lying, I'm lying, I'm absolutely lying completely, it's a 10 out of 10, this is a brilliant first air gun of mine, um, I have a, I have my friend's uh, big brother, uh, yes, uh, he has a gun exactly like this, but the catch is the power of this is a lot more stronger, to uh, fire these uh, pellets, to fire them in the, these little bullet shapes and how you were to uh, refill because obviously you got to put it in the bullet then the whatnot how you do it oh the autofocus decides not to work so you twist it and then the tip comes off and you've got the shell like where the gunpowder would stay so yeah it's just a solid lump of metal tube down there you can see hello and then this doesn't go back it's too short it doesn't go back it's too short. And then this, you'd literally just pop it in its butthole there. And then you twist it on so it's nice and tight so it don't become a done inside the gun. Otherwise, you'll be in immediate trouble. And then you just pop it in the gun. There you go. This is pretty good. I love this gun. It's like, feels really nice in the hand. And I always, I always loved a revolver, but I never could get one. And this is the, uh, because I was too young at the time. I were, I uh, got something similar to this, but it was a Nerf gun. Something similar to this, I'm totally lying. Be right. Just a quick second, I can go get. I should have prepared. There we go. 
I still have this gun because I've gotten rid of the rest. It's just this is the first gun I actually light as my Nerf. For your delectation, the Nerf Strike Elite Strong Arm. Yes, this is a big ass gun. But uh, to be honest, mm, it's roughly the same size to be honest. It's just this looks a lot more real. This one looks a lot more real and cooler. More like Dirty Harry, Clint Eastwood. Hey, about 50% um, of the audience that are probably watching this knows what uh, Dirty Harry is from Clint Eastwood. So yes, um, this is my first ever proper revolver gun ever owned. I probably did own a few, but um, you know, absolutely pointless. But this one is actually like the one that had a nice trigger and actually used this and actually used the spinning mechanism. And uh, that's what I liked. Also, six bullets. I know I got called the nickname, so I, and I always have this tr tr attraction to revolvers. <laughs> yeah, I would fire this, but it is late outside. You can probably can't tell because it's so bright, my big light. But I will show you guys right now. There you go. It is roughly dark, so I can't really shoot anything. I have shot it before. The firing rate on it is perfect. The power. Oh god, let the autofocus take for it all focus. Stay, all oh gone. And um so yeah. The power on this, um scale of one to ten. Um insane. This uh, the BB gun one that I had before that my mate has is a bit less powerful, but it only shoots metal BBs. It can't shoot those pellets because it has to shoot it through the plastic. When that you just pop it in the plastic and the plastic just tightly holds it and then the gas just passes through uh, the bullet passes through the air compressor through the gun through that through the barrel and then belly push through the barrel and you're having a nice fun time unless you're on the other side of the barrel has another story in total but luckily these do not ricochet as much because obviously look it is these do not ricochet as much because look it is a um a flat tip so it will end up crunging itself at all places so that is a lot more safe to use than um round dome other round little balls because literally they will last a little bit and they will go pong 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 literally they'll play ping pong with your insides if you are not careful so yeah i didn't go f well i you can use that with these but you have to use metal like i want to try and use plastic but I fear it might shatter in the battle barrel, so I might have to clean it. And the main point of these guns is you do not take them apart. Why? Because this is pretty much like a real gun. You need to take it apart to clean it. No comment. Anyway, so yeah, it comes with a rail, which I need to attach and find somehow to attach it. I do have the rule book with me. I might do that in there, but I just love the original of the thing but I might put it on one day but I've got the little allen key which is uber super tiny and it has to be supplied you can get this but it's like really difficult to come on focus 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 see that super tiny super thin as a vein but look at your hands right now if your veins are just as small as that it's as small as that isn't it look at that and that is what you use to attach stuff onto that <sighs> Tiny things in it. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, price of retail. If you want to get one of these yourself, I got this luckily from second hand uh, a gun shop. Is that a flash? Oh, that was my um, computer complaining. Yeah, it's probably going to explode in a minute. But so yeah, if you would like one of these guns yourself, um, you can probably you can uh, just search up Dan Wesson. If you want one of these guns yourself. Um, I suppose I could link a uh, thing down in the description, um, maybe. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll link a website which I find at a good price, but the best price I could find were like loads of different varieties of this gun. They're going about for 150 160 Yeah, quite a lot for this little gun. I mean, I got mine for second hand, so, and it was still quite expensive. I wish I hassled the dude, but you know beggars can't be choosers you probably would have thrown me out and say oh you were keeping your money fuck off or something like that but um 
Yeah, the, I got this for 135. Still a bit out of my price range. I had to spend like all of my money because I really wanted a gun. I looked at it and I died. Like I was just like, must have. But I haven't shown my mother yet. Yes, I'm still living in with my mother. But hey, you gotta start from somewhere. I do have work, I do have bar work, it's just that because the time is I don't really have many jobs going on so this is basically what I'm hoping for. I need you guys to watch and like and subscribe so I can, so it keeps me the courage to, to keep on going and to buy stuff and the videos that you guys make, like because obviously I'm going to get ads, I'm going to start getting a sponsorship soon, I'm going to figure out how to do that, I'm going to email, I don't know, I'm going to find out how to do it the hard way, if you can link down in the description how I do it, then uh, smashing, but um, I'm sure if you were at, if you did that, you wouldn't tell me, so I would be, I think YouTube would probably delete your comment before I would see it, because you know that thing, yeah, anyway, yeah, so this uh, was 160, 140, 40 I could find, see it at the cheapest button back in the day, this was like for 40 quid, I have no idea why it's gone up, maybe it's because it's like solid silver, I don't know, anyway, so, that's my Dan Wesson, uh, and a lot of you say I look like Ashens, and I have addressed this before, what I'm doing is I am not copying, I'm carrying on, because I'm going to last a lot longer than Ashens. I mean, Ashens may keep, may still keep on going, but if you still keep on making the remarks, I'll just stop these videos with the Poundland. Because who else is going to take the piss out of Poundland? It can't be just Ashens. He can't be, like, in charge of each and every single Poundland special. There's got to be someone else out there. And that's when I'm going to take the role. Because, you know, why not? So yeah, oh, camera's defocusing, what the fuck, hello focus, there we go, hang on, I'll have a stick this setting on, huh, should have done that at the start to be honest, I need to turn the autofocus off and or something, I don't know, so yeah, anyway guys, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to click that subscribe button, and uh, yeah, click the like button if you want to, if you enjoyed it, if you liked this thing. I'll try and remember to link that thing down in the description to a website to get one of these, if my computer doesn't crash first. Yay. Uh, I did um, have a, a clusterfuck. Yeah, I did have a bit of a problem with something. I did have a Poundland pound world video editing which was which involved this I don't even know why I updated you the video didn't even go out because I it was connected to the camera on the camera's hard drive so you know um I'll just have a little bit of trivia so um <clears throat> my voice is slightly dying um so uh Probably, yeah, I'll, I'll link this in the description, fuck it. But you guys mean a lot to me, I'll do, I'll do that little extra effort. So, yeah. Um, but the uh, footage I lost was quite a bit of footage, and uh, I'm going to be doing vlogs. Doing vlogs, so that's going to be the first vlog I'm going to put up is tonight, maybe? No, tomorrow, I'll get it all ready for tomorrow to upload it. I'll do it all tonight while I'm watching Ashen's. Anyway, that's enough for me. Please subscribe. Bye.